so this video is about the master or selector program and it's just a quick introduction to let you know what it's all about so a master or selector program basically what it does is it has a combination of a whole bunch of other sub programs built into it where you select whichever program you want to run this is especially useful for FLL teams who want to organize their programs in a little bit more uh, compared to the EV3 which kind of randomly sorts them and uh, especially for FLL teams you have to run them in a sequential order so this will help you really fine-tune your mission times and make them shorter shorter so you can get some more missions in maybe so here's an example of what a screen may look like lots of teams use this specific layout with uh, however many programs they have to run and they have an indicator beside one of the program names to say what they're selected on or maybe they make the text bigger whatever you feel like doing is totally fine so they have all of them displayed I've also seen specifically with my team only having one program name on the screen at a time and then the arrow keys just change which program name is displayed because they know which one is next or which one's behind but this definitely lays out all of them at the same time which some teams may prefer or whoever is uh, doing one of these kind of programs may prefer so how we're actually going to make it uh, the program itself uses mostly red and orange palette blocks so that's data is uh, red and flow is uh, orange we're going to go through the actually drawing out the logic so using flowcharts and then from there we're going to use specific examples of like a number that you would input in or that the program may see and then go through the flowchart and see how the the program would actually deal with that number as we're going to use some variables for this so that's pretty much the overview of what a master program is. The next few videos will be incorporating some of these things that I just talked about in the last slide and how to actually do it.